Alexander Zverev versus Nicholas Jarry is the final of the Rome Masters for 2024. And both guys have fought to get to this stage. Jarry entered the tournament as the number 21 seed. Get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Arnaldi. And for a close second set, we'll get through in straights. 6-2, 7-6. In the third round, he take on the wild card, Napolitano. And this was a battle. After dropping the second set, Jarry would fight back to win. 6-2, 4-6, 6-4 to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he take on the qualifier, Muller, who had taken out Feast and Rublev along the way. And after a close first set, Jarry would win in straights. 7-6, 6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Jerry would take on City Pass, the number six seed, who'd been very impressive this week. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 3-6, 7-5, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Jerry would take on the number 14 seed, Paul, who'd just taken out her catch and Medvedev along the way. And after dropping the second set, Jerry would fight back to win. 6-3, 6-7, 6-3 to advance to the finals. It's very the tournament as the number three seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Vukic. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-love, six, 6-4. Six, in the third round, he'd take on Dadiri. And after a close first set would get through in straights 7-6-6-2 in the fourth round he'd take on Borges we had to save match points in multiple matches to get to this stage and after a close second set Zverev would get through in straights 6-2-7-5 to advance to the quarterfinals in the quarterfinals Zverev would take on Fritz the number 11 seed who started to make a name for himself on the clay the last couple of weeks which is no problem for Zverev getting through in straights 6-4-6-3 to advance to the semifinals in the semifinals Zverev would take on Tabillo the 29th seed who'd had a great week by beating Djokovic along the way and this was a battle with Zverev dropping the first set and fighting back to win one Six seven six six two 2 to advance to the final. These guys have played six times before with Zverev leading 4-2 in the head-to-head, but on clay, it's actually 2-2 with Jarry winning their last meeting back in 2023 in Geneva in the semi-finals. So when it comes to clay court tennis, this one is going to be a banger. So taking a look at the shot quality by Tennis Insights, the Rome average on the serve is slightly in Zverev's favor with a 9.1 ahead of an 8.9 from Jarry. So both these guys serving very well. Zverev also leads the returns slightly with a 6.3 to Jarry's 6.2 on the ground strokes though starting with the forehand Zverev leading again with an 8.3 to Jerry 7.7 with the backhand such a difference with a 7.7 from Zverev and only a 6.0 for Jerry which is way below not just Zverev but also the tour average so you can be sure that Zverev is going to use his serve to pick on the backhand of Jerry to get as many free points as he can and when the rallies start again targeting the backhand using his forehand because Zverev on the ground is going to feel real confident and the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot speed spin depth width and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. What a fun final. I don't think anyone thought this was going to be the final when we started the week, but maybe Zverev being in the final isn't so weird. But I've got to go with Zverev in this one because of the experience in these finals. He's been in 1,000 finals before. Jarry, his first time here. He's had a great week. I think Zverev gets a win in three sets. Let me know down in the comments below who's winning the title.